Hey guys, what's up? Me, I'm up and I feel great! Back on July 1st and 2nd, my husband and I drove down to Paris and we went to Japan Expo, which was a big Japanese animation, video game, etc. culture convention, basically. It was great. It was super fun. We only stayed for those two days, which was Friday and Saturday of the convention, even though the cat... the cat? The convention ran from Thursday to Sunday, but we drove down Friday morning, we got there at like 1.30 in the afternoon, and we stayed until it ended on Saturday, which was at like 7 o'clock. Even though Japan Expo was really like an exposition with video game companies showcasing new games and animation studios showcasing new series and things like that, I'm still just gonna refer to it as an anime convention because that's really simple. <laughs> this is my first anime convention in Europe, but it's my 25th anime convention in general. And having been to 24 anime conventions in the States, I was really curious to see what my first one in Europe would be like. I automatically began comparing them all to Japan Expo, even though, like I said, it wasn't really like a traditional anime convention. It really was like an exposition, especially with the Comic-Con attached to it. There was just... it was completely different. But even just in regards to the atmosphere, I noticed some really significant differences. The first one being that the percentage of people in attendance who were cosplaying was considerably lower. I feel like when I go to a convention in the States, there's a lot of cosplayers. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of cosplayers. They're everywhere. And at Japan Expo, it was like maybe 1 in 50. Maybe. There were a ton of Lolitas. Oh my goodness. I've never seen so many Lolitas. And I know there's an Angelic Pretty store in Paris, and so I'm sure that had something to do with it, but holy crap, there were a lot of Lolitas. Oh, and yeah, I didn't cosplay this time. I I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but fabric in Germany is so expensive, and I probably could have ordered some, but I just didn't, and so, yeah, hopefully I'll cosplay for next year's Japan Expo, but not this one. Second thing I noticed was that One Piece is really popular here, and maybe in the past two years it's become a lot more popular in the States too, I don't know, I haven't been there, but when I left, it was not. <laughs> like, people knew about it and it was popular, it was good, but I would say over half of the cosplayers I saw at Japan Expo were One Piece related, and there were multiple big, huge displays for One Piece. I don't know, I was just, I was really surprised at how much One Piece representation there was, because I'm not used to seeing it like that. Another thing that really kind of surprised me was the amount of K-pop booths. There were like three big booths selling like K-pop CDs and fans and hats and posters and anything else you could possibly think of with like Big Bang and 4 Minute and 21. I don't know, I was... I've never seen that before. <laughs> and being a fan of K-pop, I was extremely excited by that. <laughs> so to be honest, I'm not really sure how to do this vlog. I've never done an anime convention vlog, and I took a bunch of footage, but it's all kind of hodgepodge, and I'm just not really... I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do this. So what I might do is just make like a few different videos. So this is going to be like the introduction video. Yes, okay, I figured it out as I'm filming. Isn't that wonderful when that happens? I gotta think of something to say. My mind has gone completely blank. 